uliendelea akaniambia mam wakati ulienda ward mm. dadi alinishika na akanipeleka bedroom yako mm. na akalala na mimi kwa kitanda yako mm. na akaniambia mam siku yenye utasema nitakuua mam hata panga iko chini ya matris yako ai okay. nikamwambia jeni hakuna kitu kama hiyo hebu tuingie kwa nyumba uniambie dadi akisikia mm tukaingia vizuri na mtoto wangu kwa nyumba lakini anatetemeka mpaka skati unaona mwidomo ribs mm, mm, zinatingika mm, akasimama tu pale kwa mlango na mimi nikaketi hapo kwa mkono kwa kiti sasa mm, so tv ilikuwa on ufa ilikuwa on radio mm, sauti mm, na ni a, ni sande jioni au watoto wengine wanajipanga venye watafanya homework mm, so mimi nilichukua tu remote kwa meza na nikazizima zote mm, na baba amelala kwa hiki kiti kubwa amejistretch vizuri sana mm, wakati ndizima nikamwambia Jane hebu rudia Kenya umeniambia tukiwa pale nje mm. akasema dadi si ni wewe na ukanipeleka kwa kwa room ya mam mm. kwa kitanda ya mam na ukanifunika mko, na mkono yako kwa mdomo mm. ma, na ukanirepu na ukaniambia siku nitasema utaniua na hata panga iko chini ya matresi ya mam mm. hai mimi siku ngoja nikamuuliza kama hata nilimuita tu na jina yake mbele ya watoto mm. eh kama nikamuelezea na kikuyu kumbe ulibaki na watoto wangu ujifurahishange wait 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 ngoja ngoja kidogo hi guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl tinaj but today we are not talking uh, about the usual vlogs and stuff this is the first episode of the gossip squad yeah Did you listen to that? Did you hear that? Umesikia penye yiko kwa voice ya huyo madhe like Did you wish Okay and listen hiyo kitu umesikia sasa hizi like it's so painful it's so painful how how nini wa baba wana treat their kids like they are their wives this generation like who does that who does that That's so painful. Skiza peniko kwa sauti ya huyo madhe. I wish I wish I can listen again but it's so painful. Shame on you, shame on you. Why are you doing that to your baby? Your baby girl, your little baby girl. So you go and out of the side chick. Side chick, they are variable. Instead of doing that to your baby, kum traumatize hata hizi sahau she will never forget that it my dad my dad was the first one like my dad so hard to listen so hard to swallow it so hard to relate like it's so painful let's listen it again guys ni vizuri sana wakati ndizima nikamwambia Jane hebu rudia Kenya umeniambia tukiwa pale nje mm. akasema dadi si ni wewe na ukanipeleka kwa kwa room ya mam mm. kwa kitanda ya mam na ukanifunika mko, na mkono yako kwa mdomo mm. ma, na ukanirepu na ukaniambia siku nitasema utaniua na hata panga iko chini ya matresi ya mam mm. ai mimi siku ngoja nikamuuliza kama hata nilimuita tu na jina yake mbele ya watoto mm. eh kama nikamuelezea na kikuyu kumbe ulibaki na So guys there's this part in your mother and I say ma it will confront mtu hii akamuliza like ebu niambie chenye your dad alikufanyia like this woman hata sijui ni sema aje ya yeah, you are in pain uwezi vumilia uwezi fanya anything but hiyo iko idea poor like mbona waambie mtu tarudie kitu amefanyiwa it was so painful mtu hawezi ku trust tena mtu amekuja akakwambia dad did this to me It's so hurting to her. Like unaanza kumwambia tena arudi kitu amesema mbona. What if you mwanaume achanganyikiwe ama asikia asira juu ya kwenda ku you know that's embarrassment. Achukue hiyo panga yenye mtu amesema iko chini ya bed yenu awakatekate. It's another story. Like handling things venye like who, who handles things like that. Like ufai kuambia mtoto rudia kitu yenye umeambiwa ungeenda hata polisi u report you tell the police my husband am rape mtu hii but not confronting the baby kwa mtu mwenye amemwabuse na ako hapo 
you must have guts like huyo mwanaume hiyo time amechanganyikiwa huyo mwanaume huyo mwanaume hata anaogopa mnaweza shout majirani wasikie like amekuwa kilala na mtu hii why mbona uanze kuambia mtu hii like rudia chenye babako alikufanyia rudia chenye babako alikufanyia we have had so many people killing families like anaua bibi anaua watoto anaua at a house girl like anaua everyone kwa family do you know why we don't even some 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 people hata wanaenda tu hivyo the story hata tujui inaidanga aje these things happen so when the baby or your child anakuja hivyo kukwambia like mommy listen to this and don't tell daddy or don't share it to anyone be a good mom be a good mom you are protecting your baby protecting your baby doesn't mean uta walk around confronting the person um tuta taishi na woga she will be scared for the rest of it, of her life like um tuta hata hezi share kitu na mtu sasa hizi um tuta hata wewe ume traumatize anakwambia like kitu unakuja kuambia babake wameangaliana macho eti unamkoni front amelala hapo nyinyi mmekaa hapo like who does that yes you are in pain you are in pain ungeenda tu uende uende polisi you tell the police they like what happened but i kwambia mtu hii it just say chenye ulikuwa umeniambia babako alikufanyia nini do you know what that man is capable of doing kama anaweza fanyia mtu wake hivyo raping is another case kama anaweza mfanyia hivyo anaweza mfanyia nini nyingine anaweza mkatakata anaweza mnyonga that's like a murderer like don't do that next time no how to handle things see for when you go and all i'm sorry for everything i'm sorry for what happened but si kwambia mtoto like rudia chenye babako alikufanyia that's not the right way to handle it listen to this now Mamu hata panga iko chini ya matrisi yako. Okay. Ai nikamwambia Jane, hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Hebu tuingie kwa nyumba uniambie dadi akisikia. Mm-hmm. Kama umesikiza hiyo part, I know you've noticed something. Huyu mtoto amemwambia kila kitu. Alafu anamwambia, "Hey, hebu tuende unionyeshe." Like I'm trust, I trust mtu wake kitu anamwambia. You see? Let's learn to trust our kids. Hata kama ni nani, hata kama wamekwambia ni nani amefanya kitu fulani, let's learn to trust our kids. Si kila time kuwatupanisha huko kuambia you know you, you might be lying, show me the evidence, whatever kuna evidence na shabu siwa. You know women let's learn to listen to our babies. Even men learn to listen to your babies. Ju huyu mtoto unaweza pata anapitia a hard time. Naezi kwambia ju you can't even trust her. You can't even listen to her. You can't even handle it well. He or she is scared as hell. Like aezi hata funguka kwambie what's going on. Learn to listen to your babies. Like mtoto akikuja akikwambia anajua like I'm going to share my secret to someone. Mwenye ni save, mwenye anaweza ni protect. Lakini sasa akikuja kukwambia unaanza kumwambia show me the evidence twende unionyeshe. Tunafaa ku improve. Let's continue guys. Sasa majirani tulikuwa tumeingiana na niliji join na kanisa ya full gospel. Sasa Sunday school huyu mtoto alikuwa anaenda na majira. Majirani tulitafuta huyu mtoto tulimtafuta hatukumpata gai jioni kabisa kitu saa moja hivi mimi nikatokea kwa barabara nikiwa na maisan tumekosa amani tulichuna mboga kwa shamba ziko kwa meza zijakatakatu hakuna amani kwa nyumba tuko kwa barabara tumesimama tumetafuta mtoto kwa boma zote hapatikani kwenye tunachukua maziwa hapatikani tumesimama na hiyo boma ilikuwa na zile miti kubwa ni hizi boma za kitambo za washosho walipanda miti miaka mingi imepita so hizo miti ni zile kubwa kubwa so kivuli inavumulika inafunika nje hauwezi ona mtu pale mbele saa tukatoka kwa barabara miti ni mingi nikaambia waeru huyo mtoto anaweza kuwa wapi kumenyamaza unajua ushaagua kunanga magari hakuna pikipiki mm. so barabara zimekimia watu wako kwa manyumba na hakuna stima yani ni kule ushago kwenye mashamba ni kubwa kubwa mm. ukitoka tu kwa barabara ni giza tupo mm. tukiwa pale tumesimama nika nikakalia nika, miguu 
kuangalia kulikuwa na mwezi nikaona kama kuna kakitu kana kuja kwa umbali nikaambia wairu naona mtoto kama ni, ni yeye ule anakuja hebu tuenda ende hivi tukiwa pale tukitembea tembea nikakaka nikaribia nikakaita Cynthia kalitoa tu sauti ingine he, he, mam kai nikajua ni yako nikaona hapa kakaona shida kaka kuja nikakashikilia nikakauliza mamu ulikuwa wapi nikulia tu sinirongo na na washiori sasa ni majirani amewataja wawili nikamuuliza simbia kweni ni nini mbaya ma ni rongo na na washiori walifanya nini simbia mamu si wali nituma mandazi nikawaletea nikamwambia tufike kwa nyumba unipe story sasa tunaenda tu pole pole sina habari mtoto venye amefanyiwa sisi kufika kwa nyumba gai mtoto ni damu tu kabagi kako kwa mgongo ka uniform wako nako lakini katoto ni ka seven years kamefanyiwa maajabu na mwenye anataja irongo na washiori nikiwajua juu ni majirani ninawajua nikasema Mungu wangu heri si wangekuja kwangu waniombe mimi waniambie wako na haja na mimi kuliko tu wanishikie mtoto ya imagine wa baba wakubwa hata mmoja huyo irongo ako na miaka kuniliko mimi niko na 40 years sasa yeye ni kama 46 ako na miaka kuniliko. Huyu washiri ni mdogo mdogo hata kwangu. Ni kijana kijana, lakini ni wale vijana wamejiachilia bangi, sigara, kusimama simama kwa tuduka hivi majioni, hawana la kufanya. Kuchotea watu tumaji na baisikeli wakiuzauza tu fan tu vi mambo fani fani hivyo. Sasa wakati walinitajia tena huyo irongo nilikuwa nasikia akisifiwa sana na ugonjwa, alikuwa mgonjwa. HIV. Sasa nikasema Mungu wangu, irongo na venya nakuwa ninasikia ni mgonjwa. Kai nikauliza my daughter, Cynthia, "Woi, unataka tukuzike na sanduku nyeusi?" Hiyo tu ndio ilitoka kwa mdomo wangu. Watoto sasa ni machozi. Sasa kale kasichana kangu ruse, my daughter ule mkubwa kwa children home, alilipiwa na baba yake, ule step father. Sasa huyu ni Cynthia pia amelipiwa na majirani. Sasa ruse ako tu pale, anaona next ni yeye. Oh, yeah. yeah? yeah. Sasa mimi ni kulia na yeye pia ni kulia. Sisi wote tunalia lakini kila mtu analia kivya. Huyu analia uchungu, mi nalia watoto wangu nitaishi ma, mashida ya makesi mpaka lini. Naye analia ni mimi next. So kila mtu ako kivya. Wait again. How can two men sleep with a little baby? Like how can two men sleep with a, a seven year old girl? This dirty, this dirty. Unalala aje na mtoto wa 7 years. Wa 7 years like two men unalala aje na mtoto wa 7 years. Like it's so painful guys. I feel like crying right now. Jude. This is so painful. I feel the mom. Like how can Where are these men right now? Wako wapi na serikali ya Kenya inafanya nini ijawaendea iwashike? Like vitu kama hizi zinafaa kuwa handled by now watu wangekuwa in jail. How can you rape your jirani's kid na mko wili then unatulia like nothing happened. Something has to be done. Something has to be done. Justice for the baby, justice for the family. Because that's so painful, traumatizing. That's who una pata mtu ana grow like someone is that years but akona childhood trauma. That's so painful. That's so painful. They deserve to be in jail for the rest of their lives. Let's listen guys. Sana na ugonjwa, alikuwa mgonjwa mm. HIV. Mm. Sasa nikasema Mungu wangu, irongo. Na venye anakuwa ninasikia ni mgonjwa. Kai, nikauliza my daughter, Cynthia, "Woi, unataka tukuzike na sanduku nyeusi?" Hiyo tu ndio ilitoka kwa mdomo wangu. Watoto sasa ni mach... And then listen to the mom again. The mom anauliza mtoto like, "Unataka tukuzike kwa sanduku nyeusi?" Weird, right? So weird. 
like mtoto amekuja amekuelezea chenye amefanyiwa badala you rush to the hospital na umesema unajiunga stata zao watu you are there kumwambia unataka tukuzike na sanduku nyeusi like moms who does that nani anafanyanga hivyo mtoto amekuja akakuelezea mom someone did this to me someone raped me na uko hapo unamwambia unataka tukuzike na sanduku nyeusi bara upeleke mtoto wa si kwanza mtoto wa 7 years old anajua nini anajua nini juu ya sanduku nyeusi hii story inanifanya na feel like i feel like roho yangu ina jam right now like mtoto anajua nini juu ya sanduku nyeusi at this part na blame you mother pia like mtoto anajua nini juu ya sanduku nyeusi eti mnataka tukuzike na sanduku nyeusi that's so bad that's so bad we need to change let's listen chozi sasa kale kasichana kangu ruse my daughter ule mkubwa kwa children home alilipiwa na baba yake ule step father mm. sasa huyu ni Cynthia pia amelipiwa na majirani sasa Ruse ako tu pale anaona next ni yeye oh, yeah. yeah? mm. sasa mimi ni kulia na yeye pia ni kulia sisi wote tunalia lakini kila mtu analia kivya huyu analia uchungu mimi nalia watoto wangu nitaishi ma, mashida ya makesi mpaka lini naye analia ni mimi next so kila mtu ako kivya guys you see how this family is traumatized how the mom is traumatized how the kids are traumatized like it's like a circle yenye inaenda kwa family elder sister merepiwa mdoga merepiwa now the the other child like anauliza am i the next one like it's so traumatizing guys so traumatizing acha tuache ku traumatize watu wengine like mbona ufanyie mtoto wa mtu hivyo na huyu mbaba mwenye amerep mtoto wake mbona ufanyie mtoto wako hivyo lana zingine unapata like uko na lana tu you are not prospering in life because of what you did because of your past life i don't know what to say anymore but it's not god it's not god this child like a father is supposed to trust you supposed to hug you she's supposed to tell you anything she's going through in life but you are the great enemy you are attacking her she will never trust men she will never feel comfortable around men because because of the trauma This was so hard to listen. This was so hurting. Let's normalize being closer to our kids, listening to our kids, trusting our kids because let's know that our kids are the number one priority. Before you trust that neighbor, that man, before you trust anyone, trust your kid. Ulisikia uchungu peke yako? Na nivyo utasikia uchungu peke yako hiyo kitu iki hapa. Let's trust our kids. It's been nice talking to you guys and if this story was interesting, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, share, comment and subscribe. What do you think about the story? What do you think guys? I love you so much guys. Bye.